Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Now in this video tutorial we're going to be looking at how to create mockups using the mockup creator. Now in order to find this feature we need to select create design and we are going to be using the fast AI image designer. Once you select the fast AI image designer you need to select the AI design assistance okay located in the column uh, at the top the third one along. Now once you select the AI design assistance, uh, under step one select a category, the very first one will be mockup creator. You need to go ahead and select mockup creator. Now mockup crea creator will allow you to generate unique mockups with your logo okay laid on those mock-ups so um, as an example just imagine whatever industry um, that you may be in let's just take a doctor's lab coat as an example so there's a doctor in the office and on the lab coat could be your logo so you know there, there's a limited amount of um, usage for this very powerful indeed so what I'm gonna do let's go ahead and now you may have a logo already created or maybe a client has a logo that they want to use, or you may have already created one from the library. Now, a great starting point is that if you haven't got a logo and you wanna create one, you can always go to the AI image designer section and you can create a logo from scratch, okay? Or using create from prompt. So you've got a couple of uh, methods before you jump into the AI design assistance if you don't already have a logo. But if you do, let's go to the mock-up creator and I'm gonna go to choose from library because I've got some examples I created to show you how simple this is, okay? So we've got a couple of logos here and I'll go for this uh, this one looks really nice okay so we'll give that a few moments for it to upload and you can see that's up there now and another step has appeared where do you need the logo to be placed okay now for this example you can see here we have some you know uh, written text uh, photo of a woman wearing a t-shirt t-shirt has a logo on it so here I could say a doctor <coughs> a doctor or a doctor in the office and the logo is on his lab coat okay and that's it simple prompt so keep it you know specific make sure it's all about the prompt so you want to kind of direct the uh, well artistically the AI to know exactly where or what the situation is and where do you need this lab coat to be so if I delete this again you can see here's an example photo of a woman wearing a t-shirt t-shirt has a logo on it okay so a, 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 I could write in here look a male doctor in the office with a logo on his lab coat and next step is I just simply want to go select generate image and we'll give that a few moments to start processing and then we'll be redirected to the personal design section where we can uh, where we'll have to wait patiently for this to render and give us our example now uh, bearing in mind <clears throat> When this does get created, uh, we always have the option of going into the advanced uh, AI image uh, editor. Uh, so, you know, you can really expand on some of these scenes and make them more um, exclusive in terms of using them for banners, using them for uh, advertisement reasons. So there's, it's very flexible uh, once you have that created. So just remember here, we see our design prompt and that was the design that we used so what we do we give that a few moments to load and in the meantime if we come back to the same process design agents mock-up creator you'll see if i go to the library choose another one i can say a photo uh, of a photo of a woman wearing a t-shirt with the logo on it okay so maybe you want the logo on a hat, maybe you want it on a bag um, with your subject. So generate image and we'll uh, try another one as well in the meantime, whilst we wait patiently for the other one to occur. And there we go. Okay, so here we have, well, here we have our gentleman here, our doctor, uh, with the logo has been printed onto his um, lab coat. So, you know, uh, another, great example and, and and don't be don't be worried about trying different things and really you know if you want it placed on the right or the left or maybe you want it on the arm the sleeve a t-shirt maybe a coat jacket hat um, you know be specific on where you want that to be and you know you'll have fun um, testing out different methods so what we do we give that a few moments um, for that to render okay and we shall return okay and there we have our female with the t-shirt with the logo on so it's brilliant uh in terms of uh you know um 
product placement for your brand you can create you know characters male female subjects and really um, demonstrate uh, your product essentially we can even take this then if we wanted to we could go uh, to the advanced AI image designer uh, like I previously mentioned and you know we could build this out into something something much more formidable if we were required so um you know we could remove the background we can stencil things out maybe you want to do it in painting change the color of her hair maybe put sunglasses on face swap make this more personalized maybe uh you want to smart expand and create a much bigger scene and put more subjects um in, in uh, the scene itself, maybe you want to remove objects if you have different items. Maybe you want to add items in like a vase, glass, maybe a board. Um, and then we've got the flexibility of actually, um, you know, stylizing, adding text, making this into something much more uh, of a monster design just by simply using this, okay? So having said that, that's how you would use um, the mock-up creator. So just coming back, remember create design, fast AI image designer. Uh, you want to select the AI design uh, assistant, select mock-up creator in a couple of steps, uh, you'll be good to go and you'll have great examples uh, like uh, we have just done right now. Okay, so apart from that, I shall see you in another video.